Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sasa here with a video here today. We're gonna have a portfolio review video where basically I go through your portfolios and we're gonna basically collaborate without even knowing so. And I hope you guys get inspired by these really dope portfolios that I handpicked out. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna ever participate in these, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Sasa HQ. Uh, at any point in time, I might just tweet out that I'm doing this video and then you guys can participate. But without further ado, let's get started and let's just look at some dope stuff. Also, the best Christmas present you can give yourself is the everything pack. Selfie.com slash SSHQ. All right, guys, so let's start off with Danny Logato, his Tony Boy Iron Identity and Stream Design for the Nightfall. I don't know what the Nightfall is exactly. I guess it's actually what he's calling this collection. And for the record, the immediate kind of stance that I see from just this header alone is that we're going to be looking at like some really cool grunge effects with this really cool like reddish tone. And one of the things I can tell immediately as well is the energy that's going to be portrayed in here because of that little simple little like marker uh, like animation going on over the T. So I'm excited to look at this and I'll look at this show real, real quick, just like so, and I'll see what we got. Oh, I, I really do. Oh, I like that. So I really do appreciate this sort of like, again, like he was moving all this at one asset. But one of the things I want to like even immediately say is that dark black on that nice grayish tone spray tone with this really cool noisiest effect or whatever, like this pattern on it is a really cool like differentiator that I don't really see very often with sprays. Usually it's just like a spray and nothing else, but I do like the attention to detail here for sure. One of the things I'm noticing as well is the spray can being like, introduced over and over and over again. I think that's a really, really good trait to actually have. Art direction, creative direction, brand identity, 2D animation, 3D animation, and sh this boy is a whole studio on his own. What I was gonna say is I feel like he refreshed this idea with this like grunge effect by using like these really cool like black and gray tones, which I think is like the most brilliant way to actually utilize grunge without making it seem too heavy. But besides that, he did uh, kind of introduce 3D elements with these 2D elements, as well as like this kind of like, just your overall like urban kind of uh, aesthetic kind of uh, uh, assets, right? And one of the things I really enjoy the most when I look at this framing right here, for example, like I just really feel as if like, when I use grunge, I don't feel like I really express or like really exaggerate my sprays so you can see like he's using these exaggeration of these big large red sprays almost like it's almost like you're adding right but in this sense here he's actually taking away that way your eye can see it as a flat color and then put things over it right so you're gonna see that kind of thing happening over and over and over again and I think it's pretty brilliant also this little area right here I just love the texture and the layering down here this like rip paper with something already being below it as well this little simple little text over whether if it's like a, a different project or whatnot if he created that his own I love the layering, I love the technique, so I, I love the fact that you can see this additional framework of this usual grunge uh, aesthetic. So honestly, Danilo, I hope I'm saying that right, or I'm just gonna call you God, because at this point you have God on your name. This is pretty freaking awesome. If I had to give this a Sesso score, I have no idea why I just wanted to say that, but I wanna give you genuinely, I mean, just even quick, taking a quick look at the animation as well, I love the, just the steadiness of it, it's not too crazy. This transition here also has a little bit of distortion too, so you made sure you kept it flow. I'm gonna give you a 9.2 out of 10, that's the, the number that pops in my head why is it not a 10 i don't know i can't say exactly but maybe if we dive deeper into it if you want to ask me we'll figure it out up next we have phipps art direction and stream assets by oni and hugo uh the first thing i want to say immediately is i do enjoy like enjoy like the simplicity of like this red light on that nice little blue the red and blue just looks really nice offset white in the background i really appreciate it and i, I guess this guy right here is thip he's looking looking mighty i don't want why did i almost i wanted to say hip in the uh, let's give it a scroll down real quick. Uh, this is... I can't read this. One thing I want to say right here is I really do appreciate the pattern usage and the idea of like using these patterns on different colors. So you kind of has this red, this yellow, this sort of like more like darker reddish tone, like a black basically at this point, right? Being portrayed here. I do think this grading is a little bit off. I think you could have made this more like reddish tone. Um, it just feels like a little bit of like a... Like a eh, eh. Yeah. right so i'm gonna say we go down oh okay so this seems to be his like starting soon screen or like maybe like an intermission screen of some sort like with this little timer in the top left which i really like appreciate this like little simple like like the 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 offsetness the asymmetricalness of this is not like perfectly aligned to it i think that's like a really cool creative choice to make it feel a little bit less like anticipated right we're seeing four different frames they all feel different they all look different the only thing that actually changes is the way he chose his what four color scheme blue white red 
and uh, his black tones, right? So he tows those four different sections. The only thing that changes is the colors and where the pattern actually lives. And I feel like that's one thing that a lot of people actually tend to like almost forget or even not so forget, but don't really understand. The overall art direction of a design in the simple sense could also be just like this really creative pattern that you put your heart and soul into figuring out to make that tell the story. The pattern itself can be the story. You choose like a really nice three to four color scheme, right? And then you can change that pattern out with like a different tone of like uh, being on a black background or like a blue background with like a darker tone, a blue background with a lighter tone, you know, or on top of a yellow or on top of a red in this instance. I think it's actually simplicity at its finest, not to actually take away from the actual art itself. He stood in a pocket that I think a lot of people can really learn from, honestly. It's also the fact that he also used like a modular system. If you guys look up like modular like layouts on like a Pinterest or a Behance, something like that, you can really learn how to actually navigate and how much you can just do with like a three box section, something like this right over here, right? It's just really cool. So what I want to say to you guys, like Udi and Hugo, Hugo, right? If I were to give this a nice little Cesso score, we're going to make this a thing in this video. I have no idea why, but if I were to give you guys a nice simple score, I would say, I think it's a very deserving. I'm going to say, I want to say like 8.7. The reason being, by the way, I think, I feel like I want to say, right? Is I actually feel that they could have actually took this pattern and made it into like, not just only a singular pattern, made the actual pattern modular itself. Now, the way I want to kind of, you know, did like to talk about this is, is that they were to extend this, right? There's a lot of assets in this universe that, that they're occurring in this, uh, in this world right now. If you just look closely at the pattern for this instance on like this, uh, like picture right here, right? You can tell the pattern also has squares in them in as well. So you can almost create this like checkerboard pattern with not just a red, but you can do a yellow, you can do a white, or you can just take the pattern away with a line pattern inside this pattern, right? There's like a line pattern. And there's like this like liquify pattern on the, like the, the base model of it, right? There's a world where they can actually extract that and make that play into the actual art direction itself and not just only use the pattern on its own. Even though I just said you could use a pattern on its own. I just say if I were to extend this further, right? Would they go to that direction is I know there's more that they can definitely do. So that's what I would say is an 8.7 for me out of 10 and i mean that's a great score on its own but like you know hugo and uh oni you guys did a great job let's go to the next one all right so up next is leo motion with his personal branding what i want to say right away leo or just like anyone could do this right if you're a designer or whatever creative on your own and you can design for yourself amazing let's give us a little look so a little bit about me i'm a 20 year old creator god when i see 20 i think if it's so young now i'm 27 next year bro i'm losing hair 20 year old creative specializing in branding identity branding design and motion design where i currently discovering the world of 3d through blender i love a blender i'm learning it too so uh first off this motion oh leo motions logo right we're looking at like a sort of like an infinity kind of sign of course it being an actual m is my guess uh his word mark is very clean i, I really do like how he puts it together and also the the tones of this like really soft blues and like darker blues and orange it makes me feel like i have like a little bit of a trust in you as well as like the fact that it's kind of just feels very soft and inviting oh i see okay so it's an m and they're gonna say it's an l as well they got a little circle in there infinity symbol symbolizes endless creativity honestly pretty cool i i could i could get behind that to be honest okay also we love a little bit of like making the making the whole thing that you kind of went through look a little more complicated i can always get get behind this it just makes your the client whoever comes to you be like wow this guy knows his mathematics well, yeah, well it doesn't really matter anyway we got this really cool like circular color thing which is pretty nice to be honest and when he goes to that white it changes the background to the darker blue so you can actually see the white kind of cool honestly yeah i'm looking at this and i'm saying to myself leo this is actually really dope i really love your colors i love the contrast they actually protrude in here i love the fact that you actually have like your own stationary or not even stationary but your own like consistent like lighter tone on like a darker like blue that you have here not just like a color overlay kind of uh situation going on here yeah i mean honestly if i'm if i'm coming together and you're like here my name is leo motion here's my portfolio uh and, and i get this I'm, i know i'm gonna feel like i'm gonna get someone who's gonna really work on the the branding identity of the the situation that they're you know dealing with right so honestly leo very dope very consistently just like great what i'm gonna say for this sesso score and i really hate that i'm doing this now i'm like look at this frame right here this little this little simple motion in this little eye right i love the i love the contrast there the homie is killing it you know it's it's i can't actually even say anything he designed for himself he knows exactly what he wants he's been with himself for his entire life who am i to not say a 10 right like who am i yeah yeah that's how i'm gonna get out of this one Let's go next. So up next is Arthur Roger with his Balenciaga Defenders. And I don't even know if I'm allowed to even show this for the record. I mean, Balenciaga. I mean, if you don't know, you know. But if you do know, I'm sorry. I, let's just, like, can we just focus on the creative for this one? Um, anyway, we live in a world where card chips have replaced walking. Through this creation, Dima... 
Gavazlia reinvents a tire and changes the game. Uh, the Balenciaga Defenders is an all-terrain pair capable of tackling rock, ice, grass while keeping the Balenciaga spirit. Okay, so let's look at our little, what is this motion reel kind of situation here. Balenciaga, we got a tire. Okay, we're, we're getting the, the fact that it is, we're, we're setting the narrative. Then we got some terrain, right? Some rock, some ice. I see what's happening here. And also I do love the, di the dark atmosphere as well right the, the grass the airy kind of tones i mean to be honest this feels like a balenciaga ad. I, I don't know if it was the butterflies for me anyone else like it just felt like that was very balenciaga of them is this like a like used thing because it, it feels very like very close to the narrative of what balenciaga would want to do in their sense right and also can I, I i love the stills the stills are very very powerful i do like how you always light the the shoe in some kind of way or highlight it in some kind of way whether if it's like where the ice in the cube is you still very much see this little like triangle composition the first thing you see in the middle is it the actual uh shoe you got this really nice light cascading on this other darker rock on the left side of the shoe right it just feels very much so curated in, in the way that you would want to see this but also this still right here these tires in this motion you kind of see this like you know uh the shoe in this very much so tire kind of like angle which is straight flat on the bottom dang this is really freaking sick really really sick and i mean the creative behind it and in, in itself i don't even know if this is a real shoe or not i mean i'm, I'm gonna guess it is in this point honestly super freaking dope man if i were to give this a score uh uh, uh, uh 9.4 i just said whatever word numbers that came to my head that's what i want to say it is exactly what i would expect when you kind of see this idea of like showcasing this like really nice description in the beginning which i really appreciated right and i get all trains it's a tire dope creative I don't really know much about 3D, so I can't give it a 10 because, I, don't, you, know, you know, you get it. I think this is great. That's all I got. So up next, we have Brenda Cardeso. I believe I'm saying the last name right. I'm, BCT Game Challengers Qualifiers 2022. Okay, first, look at this first frame. Okay, we got the claymation, and then it gets just like, oh, a nice little, you know, first run pass. Boom, we're done, right? No, we go again with this, like, boom, and then go again, and then... We go again. I thought we were gonna go again. But honestly, it improves more and more. I really do appreciate the fact that you kind of show this kind of render tone, whether it's like, you know, adding from clay to, to your first pass to your second pass, like a, a bloom to, to highlighting all the other colors. Really, really beautiful. I really did love this a lot. So, okay, the creative behind this, my guess is that you're basically using an environment of, maybe you just made like a really big room and now you can just make all this big room, put whatever the heck you want on tables, screens, whatever. And then you can just go in and just move your camera around the entire like room and just create a whole collective uh identify or not identifying but like identical creative which is actually pretty genius if you ask me um but i can't read this i'm gonna say it says something regardless though really cool i really do like a, like i said i really do appreciate the little type texture on this left hand side whatever it's saying or it's saying like a, like a versus liquid day or happy liquid day honestly like i said and also you complimented the actual creative with this 3d scene with this really cool like fractal um um bokeh that's what it's called bokeh right honestly i think the overall kind of uh the, the overall product is honestly really clean in the sense of like i love the airiness of it i love the spaces of it i love the 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 the, the color correction and like softness tone to it here here's what i want to say before i give the score i feel like what i want to do is i I, I don't know if there is a story being portrayed in the 3D scene itself. Obviously, even the fact that if you just wanted like a really cool, just dope art direction idea and you want to get something going forward, I think the idea of like placing things in like a sporadic, maybe in a, in a random sense is a really cool uh, a way to conceive or do that, right? Um, the thing is that I, I personally want to see in some kind of way, some sort of story that maybe even like the, the, the fans of Liquid or whatnot can only figure out or only get with like these objects on the table, right? And that's something I'm not entirely sure if I do know for certain, but I want to say like in solid 8.5 out of 10 maybe like there was this really monumental dope moment in like a game like last like challenge or last uh tournament and you can somehow place objects in the scene that kind of relate to it in some way or whatnot i don't know for sure because maybe i'm just not aware of it but if that was the thing that you can portray that can make your creative even more thoughtful even more outstanding so that's where i can see instant improvement if not already in the actual project sense so with that being said the creative itself is like obviously a 10 in that sense but i think when i when i give my score I'm giving my scores on presentation and the project on its own. So that's my little feedback on it. But yeah, this is honestly pretty freaking amazing, uh, Brenda. So congrats on it being freaking phenomenal. I, 
I can't wait till I'm good enough to do this. All right, so for the last before, we have Austin Full with his Summon FC Esports brand identity. Quick little TLDR. This apparently stands for Sage Alt My Nan, who was apparently acquired by Fnatic a couple years back or something like that, right? And I guess the historical contents of this is they wanted to make it seem like the Summon FC was like some sort of like football club over like a fan club of a Valorant team. Um, what we're going to get immediately is the actual old icon is right here. This sort of like 28, 20, uh, you know, 2022. This is what it looks like currently if that's the, the fan club it was still alive and wasn't uh, brought to you by Fnatic or whatever, right? I do think the overall kind of uh, newer version of this with this really, really nice badge, giving the actual badge this breathing room, almost finishing off these wings and giving us a really cool like, you know, Summon FC, almost like, you know, football-like badge with the, uh, the other side being the actual esports kind of icon, taking it out of the badge and using those stars, making, make, making it very much so feel European in that sense. Europeans just love to put those little added details in their logos. I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for like texture on the color palette thing, so putting like the hex code RGB, the CMYK, right? It's very easy to do. If you're looking to do your portfolio and you want to make it look a little, that color palette look a little bit cooler, Look at this. And let me actually get our first look at the, the overall kind of idea of this white base kind of theme, culture resurrected, all that good stuff. We kind of have this like glass morphism being kind of like portrayed with this really cool pattern as well. Uh, the jerseys themselves, they're like esport related, right? And right, Valent related. Also, the, the pattern itself also feels very much so like a uh, chamber, like the chamber kind of like pattern that you kind of see on like that kind of character is what I feel like I see here, which is really cool too, because I can very much so kind of relate it to this techie, uh, techie esporty Valorant way. The jerseys themselves almost feel like these little cool like uh, neon colors on this darker kind of sleeve makes it almost feel like there's like a light kind of going through their collar right it just makes it feel more techy which is really dope also kind of keeping the the overall clean look giving ourselves a nice little cool mock-up and all that good stuff right we also see this really cool again this pattern being introduced once again like I said before in the beginning of the video if you just have like a very strong pattern and a really strong color scheme you can make basically a whole branding out of it right the sort of like blurry techy blur kind of going on this like this character here is very very original in my never really kind of seen it in this kind of way which is really dope too i love i'm a sucker for the offset white bluish tonish you know color scheme it just makes it feel so airy so just like inviting and just like just healthy feeling i don't know what it is um i think the darker concept is a little bit kind of like eh, it doesn't go too crazy for me in my opinion personally this frame here i do think this feels a little bit kind of uh almost like i'm looking at two different designs i think the background is like very much so what it is it's like this like almost it feels a little bit muddy compared to the foreground of this being this bokeh very clean cut idea i mean i think maybe the, the characters themselves are the same colors maybe use that kind of like distortion effect that we saw in that jet render before on the poster on this might make it feel a little more cohesive in that sense and this like graphic assets page i didn't even really notice how strong and powerful these kind of like different tones are i actually really enjoy seeing it in this way you kind of basically say to yourself if i have this white um kind of like a uh, cool cascading line with the pattern it looks like this i've had the black cascading lines it looks like this this actually looks pretty freaking dope i do think there is actually a stronger look to the like white tone though and that honestly might be for the fact that i just like i'm a sucker for the white tones but i do think for this instance i think this kind of like third one here is a little bit like just a, a little off in something i don't know about what it is but i don't feel like this is very cohesive compared to the other ones themselves but if i were to have to give you a score i mean i do also enjoy the fact that your thought process of how you just basically created this entirely false narrative of something that you just saw that you got inspired by is phenomenal the fact your brain actually works like that is super dope i'm gonna give you a 9.1 in this presentation alone i think the white base i think you stuck to it very very clearly because it's definitely your favorite i think there's like the dark tones is where it gets a little bit lost a little too far off I do think in this universe, if you were to kind of compliment this or kind of figure this out, it might be just you having to take some of these fractals and using that white kind of tone with the black. That way it still remains like 80% like this darker tone, 20% that whiter tone. That way it can feel cohesive in a way. That's my kind of quick solve that kind of goes in my head. Don't know if it's going to work, but that's what I'm going to say, Austin. You did a freaking fantastic job. But with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys got inspired, all that good stuff. That's usually the plan with these things. The East, the, the, the sort of portfolio reviews is basically get inspired. We you can just basically almost collaborate uh with I'm, what i'm talking about maybe it make you think about something that you weren't thinking about but then you can take what you were thinking about and then what i'm talking about and we can basically collaborate without even actually kind of like you know talking to each other kind of literally but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed of course if you leave a like comment all that good stuff if you guys want to see these things there's the universe we can do these portfolio reviews every week like an additional video if you guys want to but you guys gotta let me know hopefully the little tip thing as well was kind of cool but yeah so, so HQ out. You're gonna get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. Little much love, peace. And uh, just for the record, 2023.
Okay, ready for this? I'm gonna be doing tutorials yet again. So I have this, this whole year I didn't do any tutorials whatsoever, but this next year we're gonna bring tutorials back. Of course, entertainment content is gonna stick around too, but it's not gonna be my main form of content anymore, which is a fun little thing I did this year. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.